It's very common among developers to have a problem with a date slicer when the range is not um, adjusting automatically to the minimum and maximum date. What we mean by that is when we're selecting a date range and it's changing to, let's say, from 3rd to 2nd of December, we expect the date slicer to adjust automatically and show us 2nd of December. However, it's not happening. We have to manually select 2nd of December, which is not the behavior that we expect from the slicer. Once to fix that, um, we need to copy the slicer. Once we finish all the testing and everything is done, let's rename it to dynamic date slicer. And now we need to remove the date field from the slicer. And we're going to add it once again. By doing so, we're going to reset the dynamic range within this slicer. As long as we are not touching the buttons of minimum and maximum date and the slider itself, our slicer will stay dynamic. Let's test it. If we are changing the date range again to a third of December here, as you can see, the slicer on the right hand side has been updated to the latest date, while the slicer on the left hand side is still static. Now let's update the minimum date. As you can see, after we've done that, the date range is still dynamic on the right hand side, 